Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ronan Vico and this video we're going to learn if is it possible to have more than one trigger for the same flow. Let's find out. Let's say that we have two share point lists, the list number one, the list number two. Both of them, I want to trigger a flow when an item is created. If I need to create a power automate cloud flow for that, I will need to have two flows, right? Because when I go here, if I create an automated cloud flow, we going to see that we have just one trigger. So I can have here the share point when an item is created, the exactly trigger that we, we want to use. But why we don't have our other ways of triggering this same flow? Being honest, I don't know too, right? If you use it other tools like NAN or make, I don't know, you will see that they can have multiple triggers, but here at Power Automate, we cannot do it. But that's not true. We have a possibility to have the same flow for more than one trigger. So how can we do it? First thing first, just start your flow with the trigger that you want to use. So in my case, I will insert here, subscribe to my channel, and also the list number one. After that, I will insert a compose here and save this flow just to have the flow saved, right? So here is the first flow. I will call here this flow up uh, the parent flow list number one, and I will save it. You will need to create a flow with the trigger that you want. Okay, so first flow is created. Let's go to the next one. Do not, not lost time here. I can just duplicate, right? Because the trigger is the same in my case. But if you are using a SharePoint list and also an Excel file, you should create from blank. So let's save as and rename it to parent, parent flow list number two. Let's save it, add it. I just duplicate to by some time you can create it for a blank it's no problem here okay i will change the list number one to list number two and voila save okay now that we have both of these triggers you can have more than two okay you can have n flows that you want how can we put them together right there is the magic the first thing after you create your flows, you are required to have a solution and you will understand why, okay? So create a new solution. You can name it whatever you want. So I will call my multi multiple triggers for the same flow. Select your publisher and create. Now at the solution, you will add your cloud flow. So you can also create directly at the solution, okay? You can go directly at this new solution, create new automation cloud flow and start your flow. It's the same thing, okay? So I'm going to add existing because we already created and I will add the cloud flow. I will insert here the parent flow list number two and the number one. So now I, I will go here again and insert the number one, add. So we need to insert one by one at the solution. After that, we can check that we have both of our triggers here. So we have the trigger at the list number one, the list number two. At the solution, we're going to create a new automation cloud flow instant. And we're going to use the manually trigger a flow. The name, you can give any name. I will use this name right here, child flow from list number one and two. You can give any name that you prefer. And right here, we're going to add the input that I need to this flow. So for example, if I am using lists and I just want to have the ID from the list, I don't know, you can, you can insert a JSON from the output of the list, you can add an input the way you want. So for example here, to make it more easier here for you, I will recommend you to add an input of text and just insert the JSON output. Please insert the JSON output from the 
SharePoint list. Now, when we trigger that flow, I can move forward for the next step and do whatever I want. Grant a PDF, send an email. You create your own flow, right? After you do whatever you need, so I will insert the compose here just to make an example. And I will insert the input for this composed exp the, the dynamic content of JSON output. So I'm just printing it out. I will print the JSON right here so we can see it. After that, we can just finish the flow. But you have other options if you want to know. I can respond back to the parent flow. It's a good thing to know here. You can add a new step and use the respond uh, respond to power app or flow so i can insert an output that goes back to the main flow the parent flow who is calling the child flow did you get it so here at the parent flow number one if i call this flow i can have an output that goes back right here Pretty cool, right? So just so you can see it running, I will save this child flow and it's required to be all on the same solution. That's why we created a solution, okay? Don't jump the steps. You need to have a solution to use a child flow. Going back here at the parent flow number one, I can add a new step and just right here the child and we're going to have run a child flow using the run a child flow we can select this child flow list number one and two and it's required the input json output that we just created right here so i can insert the output of my trigger so i can go in fx dynamic content and just write outputs or trigger outputs it's it's better to use the trigger outputs at okay just to you to remember this step right here will reply with this uh, output if i want in my case i don't need it but you can for example insert an output here write success status success so this json will be use it as output on the step calling the child flow right here let's test it out let's check if it is working right i will save this flow also the child flow and let's go create a new item on the list number one add new item and let's create an apple fruit right here save after that here is it it is running the parent flow and the child flow will be called succeed and also we have succeed on the parent flow so basically what happens here when an item is created we call the child flow the child flow run it we can see on the compose that we have all the data that we we need right so the data is right here on the compose because we pass from the parent to child and we can use it here on the child flow and of course it's obviously here we need to go and add the parent flow list number two at the solution so do you remember that we have two triggers so i'm going to go again here at this solution find the second trigger if i i want to have the third trigger it's just create the third trigger call the flow the child flow and move forward with the development right so then the list number two just to end this video and have a complete tutorial i will insert the same thing child for find the runner child flow select the child flow insert the JSON output from the trigger flow, right? So, trigger outputs and voila. Save, published, and if I run 
the trigger on the second list, not the first one. So here's it, we have two triggers, check it out. I'm going to add a new it in the other list. I will insert the fluid banana and save it. We can check in the run history right here. here we can see it that it runs. So we have parent flow number two. We have parent flow number one. Both of them calling calling the child flow. So this is the one. This is the two. And you can have three, four, five, any triggers that you want for the same flow. That's how you do it on the Power Automate Cloud. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you watch it to the end, please hit the thumbs up and comment down below your feedback and the magic word banana. So if you comment banana on your feedback, I will know that you watched the video to the end. It's a way of knowing who watched the video completed. So thank you so much for watching. Consider to share this channel so we can grow up and share more free content more free knowledge about technologies we see you in another video in another class and please consider to subscribe